Well, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, we're down here in the river again today. Catching some more mile. Um, they were trying a combination. We're using some worms. <clears throat> Some pink corn. Some corn that I dyed. Just trying a combination. I heard that they'll bite this pink corn too. So a lot of time I sometime I put it on here with the worms. It seemed to make catfish bite better when you got that corn on there. But anyhow, we're giving it a try today and see how it works with this mixture. corn helps none but it sure don't hurt they, they still biting just like they would with the regular earthworm I don't know if it's helping them bite better or not but as long as it's not hurting I'll always try it but there's something different ah oh, you're a little bit bigger we can put you in the box Fishing on the bottom, bobbing the bottom down in them deep holes. A uh, little brim. Why couldn't you have been a little bit bigger? Man, you sure hit it hard, though. I don't know if it's because of that piece of corn or what, but anyhow. Come here, Molly. These mollies seem to be sitting down there, and there's one little hole. If I get it in, right there, they seem to be sitting right there waiting. Yeah, that little brim. It's getting small. Oh, Momo. about this fish in the bottom in the fall and winter early spring you can find where these fish are at on the bottom you can sit in one place leave my anchor out or a lot of time I just take my trolling motor if the water ain't running too hard and try to hold myself in uh, one place and you can sit there you catch brim speckled perch, red ear, what we call a uh, shell cracker, catfish, you catch all types of fish. I uh, got one down that kept hitting at it. He messed around and I finally hooked him. Ah, uh, you're a big enough brim. Oh yeah, you'll be some good eating. Big ones out though. He's got to catch some big, thick momo. Not today so far. But them there's good eating size. Let me show you a little bit of setup here while I got a break in a minute. I don't usually fish with a bait cast reel. I ain't no good with them. But one of my uh, friends gave me this about 20 years ago because he couldn't use it either. He bought it for bass fishing and he couldn't use it. So I can't throw it for bass fishing. So what I did, I just take it and use it as a bottom rod fishing on the bottom. And I found, found some kind of use for it. <laughs> Anyhow, I got a half ounce egg shaped weight on here. With just a little bead separate it from the hook. I'll break off 
probably a half inch piece of night crawler. And today I'm putting a piece of corn on there, just trying it out, just checking. But anyhow, that's the setup for the day and just bobbing it. I'll hit the bottom with it, probably eight, 10 foot of water, maybe 12. And just bob it up and down off the bottom and then let it sit still about an inch or so off the bottom for a few seconds and see if anything hits it. And I just keep working myself along doing that, just just bobbing the bottom with it till I find where some fish are. Ah, come here, mole mount. Time that thing hit the bottom, that mole mount hit it. Got you hung in a hard part of the mouth. Oh yeah. Some mole mouth here again. They some good eating fish. They kind of thick, They're yummy. Come here, Miss Molly. I got another brimmy here. Well, you two, the fish has stopped biting. I think we could call it a day. We didn't catch a lot of brim today, but caught a good mess of mallmouth. We had to take them, clean them, put them in the freezer, save them for. Uh, if weather gets worse here and gets colder and stuff in the winter time here, we'll have them in the freezer if we want to mess the fish. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. It's been a nice day, pretty day down here. Go to the hill and load up and get ready to head on out. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. Check out some of the other videos I got on my page and see you the next time.